Madam Speaker. The President of the United States. Who would have imagined Barack Obama would have walked to the podium for his first State of the Union, a man fighting to rebuild his presidency? Approval ratings falling, his agenda stalled and an economy in crisis. <laughs> time for an appeal to those determined to stop him, both houses of Congress and a prime time TV audience. Change has not come fast enough. Some are frustrated. Some are angry. They don't understand why it seems like bad behavior on Wall Street is rewarded, but hard work on Main Street isn't or why Washington has been unable or unwilling to solve any of our problems. They're tired of the partisanship and the shouting and the pettiness. They know we can't afford it. Not now. The aspirations they hold are shared. A job that pays the bills, a chance to get ahead, most of all the ability to give their children a better life. A record budget deficit and 10% unemployment, Obama wanted to show he got the public anger. And if there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans, and everybody in between, it's that we all hated the bank bailout. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it, you hated it. It was about as popular as a root canal. And on the single most divisive issue of his first year, health care, an admission and a promise. And by now, it should be fairly obvious that I didn't take on health care because it was good politics. <laughs> I take my share of the blame for not explaining it more clearly to the American people. Here's what I ask Congress, though. Don't walk away from reform. Not now. Not when we are so close. Let us find a way to come together and finish the job for the American people. Let's get it done. Plenty of applause, but equally plenty of stony faces. The head shaking, suggesting the battle's not going to get easier. There were tough messages on national security and climate change, allowing openly gay military personnel and ending political sniping. And thanks for the First Lady's campaign to tackle childhood obesity. She gets embarrassed. Also an echo of what won him the presidency. I never suggested the change would be easy or that I could do it alone. We don't quit. I don't quit. Let's seize this moment to start anew. If this was a crossroads for the president, the polls will tell if he's taken the right direction. He's already learned that it's not what he says, but what he does that counts. Greg Milam, Sky News, Washington.